Hi and welcome to the video. My name is Laura Robinson and I'm a technology specialist with Microsoft Dynamics Serum Online. In today's demonstration I'm going to walk you through Serum 2011 dynamic marketing lists. To create a dynamic marketing list the first thing I'm going to do is navigate to the marketing area within CRM. In this case I'm in the Outlook client for CRM but I could do the same thing in the web browser version. I'm in marketing lists and I click new and this is a marketing list I'm going to use for a monthly newsletter so I'll give it a name the member type is contact and the next option I have is to choose whether it's static or dynamic in CRM 4 we only have the option of a static marketing list and so anytime we wanted to change the members we'd have to go in and update that in CRM 2011 I can choose dynamic marketing list and that's going to add people to my list based on different criteria I specify so we'll go ahead and save this. And you'll see the, the message up here at the top, this marketing list is based on a query and the members of this marketing list will change dynamically. So the next thing I want to do is add members. So I click manage members in the ribbon. And I want to look for some key criteria. Now this can be anything that you want to define based on what your needs are for your marketing campaign. In this case, this is going to be an email newsletter, so I just want to send this to all contacts that have an email address. So I'll say email contains data. And we'll find just to see what kind of results we get back. And I'm going to select use query. So now it's going to add all of the contacts that fit that criteria to my marketing list members. Now let's say we have a new contact that fits this criteria. I'm going to minimize my marketing list for just a second and I'm going to go back to CRM and add a new contact. And we'll call this contact Aaron AARP. And I'm going to give him an email address. And click Save. So Aaron is now saved to my contacts. I'm going to close out this record. And I'm going to pull up my marketing list again. If I refresh this marketing list, you'll see that Aaron AARP is now in my marketing list as a member. Now it's important to think about uh, the different scenarios that you would want to add people to your marketing list because obviously Aaron is added automatically so you want to think through your, your criteria carefully and make sure that you're not adding people that you wouldn't want to add to this list. Now let's take a look at another feature here with our dynamic marketing list. You'll notice in the ribbon at the top there's an option to copy this to a static list. So if at any time you want to lock this list down you can do so by clicking this button. So it takes the values within your marketing list, your dynamic marketing list, and it makes a copy of it as a static list that you can use going forward. And that's a really quick demonstration of the dynamic marketing list feature in CRM 2011.